Christmas came early at Smart Tech Research as I was one of the lucky few to get a reference sample of the new AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX discrete graphics card featuring AMD's new graphics RDNA 3 graphics architecture. Here's a few images of my unboxing experience with some of my incidental uh, feedback. AMD also will be offering the slightly less expensive RX 7900 XT when both cards become widely available later this month. Note the sample I'm showing may, and probably will, differ in the packaging that will ultimately show up at retail. AMD's partners will likely have different packaging, cabling, and detailed installation documentation that this sample simply didn't include. Still, I'm a big fan of sleek packaging that emotes performance and power, and the AMD box didn't disappoint. Not surprisingly, but once you open the box, you're immediately presented with a hero presentation of the Radeon 7900 XTX in all its glory. If AMD's other partners follow suit with this type of package design, you'll absolutely want to keep the box to put it on the shelf and show off to jealous friends. Like prior AMD discrete graphics cards, its overall footprint mirrors previous models that you've been accustomed to. Given the power that it provides, the card has heft and weighs in at 3.96 pounds. From a power supply standpoint, one of the breakthroughs of this new card is that it provides best-in-class performance with only an 850-watt PSU, unlike some of NVIDIA's offerings which could require power supplies as large as 1200 watts. The performance per watt should be outstanding. What's more, the new 7900 XTX only uses two tried and true 8 pin PEG PCI Express power connectors, which makes life a lot simpler when installing this card in your rig. From a connectivity standpoint, the card utilizes two DisplayPoint 2.1, HDMI 2.1, and a single USB C interface, which should be more than satisfactory for the vast majority of gamers. From a system interface standpoint, the RX 7900 XTX utilizes a single PCI Express 4.0 interface. The card's dimensions are 276 mm by 135 mm by 50 mm, and it features a dual slot cooling solution. One should note that the RX 7900 XTX includes 24 GB of onboard memory versus its XT sibling, which has 20 GB of memory. Coupled with a wider 384-bit memory bus, the 7900 XTX should have meaningfully faster performance than the 7900 XT. That's all of it for now. The 7900 XTX should be available at your favorite tech retailer later this month. I look forward to testing this card and sharing my experiences a couple of weeks from now. The RX 7900 XT is expected to have an MSRP of $899 with the XTX version selling at $9.99. For more information, please make sure that you visit AMD's website.